Today we're going to be sanitizing our fresh water tank on our 2019 Winnebago Navion 24D. And if you have the same floor plan, you're in luck because you're going to see exactly how we do it. And whether you're coming off of winterization or in our case coming from Mexico, these are the steps that you need to take in order to sanitize your tank. Hi, I'm Howard from the New State Nomads. So today, we're gonna to be going step by step through everything that we needed to do in order to sanitize our tanks. Keep in mind, we had never done this before, so you're gonna see it as it happened in real time. One of the things when you're in Mexico is the fresh water supply. And when we started in Mexico, we were actually filling our fresh water tank with drinking water. And that quickly got old fast, particularly once we hit Isla Guada, and we didn't know how long we were gonna be there. And for us to keep filling and filling and filling and really using that to like flush the toilet and stuff really didn't make sense. Once we got to Isla Guada, we decided that we would use just the potable water that was supplied at the campground. Now, it's supposed to be drinking safe, but uh, out of an ounce of precaution, we didn't choose to do that. Instead, using the Garaphones, which are like giant water jugs, we would drink out of those. And we found a cool pump at Walmart so that allowed us to pump it, uh, pump it straight out of the bottle in order to drink. So today, now that we're back in the US and in Texas, we're going to completely sanitize our drinking water system. A special shout out to Litson RV. We're using the winterization video from Litson in order to drain and prepare as if we were winterizing because there's a lot of similarities between sanitizing and winterizing. We have a Truma Insta hot water system and so there are slight differences and so I really appreciate that video. So the first step in this is we're gonna try and get as much of the water out of our freshwater tank as we can without having to dump it on the ground. So I'm gonna turn on the tap and I'm just gonna let this run Run. So I'm starting with the hot water and I'm just letting it drain into the gray tank. We're going to go ahead and dump the gray tank um, before we leave and so it'll be fine. Okay, so as you can see the water is like almost out which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off now. Okay, our next step is we need to bypass the hot water heater. So there is a hatch and on here uh, it gives a guide as far as which direction the valves need to face. All we are doing is bypassing the hot water heater. On our Truma, because it has a continuous circulation system as well, we don't want to bypass that because we want the bleach to go into this area, but we don't want it to go into the Truma. Yeah. That's it? That's it. Oh, so, I missed all the action. <laughs> so you turn, okay, so it's like this uh -huh. normally. So we're gonna turn it now into bypass. Ta-da. Ta-da. Wow, good job. Thank you. Okay, this next one was kind of a dumb move on our part, but when we decided to no longer have fresh water in our fresh water tank, we should have taken the filter out. But we're gonna go ahead and take the filter out and just pitch it. If we return back to Mexico, we would remove the filter. If we don't have drinking water safe water in the fresh water tank, why would we want to filter the water? Um, we've already run the hot water out so that way this water should not be hot. And what we're doing is we're just basically just trying to relieve all of the um, hot water out of the valve. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the cold water. So as you can see now, there's almost no water left in either um, the hot water or the cold water lines. So now we're gonna go back inside and take that filter off. We have an expandable water hose that we use for filling in the campground. And so if you think about it, because it was expanded out, that meant there's pressure in the hose. And so even with um, the water pump off, the pressure from that hose was actually pressurizing our entire water system. Whoops. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway, so uh, so now that we've got that, so now we're gonna take this filter case off. Remember, this is our first time doing this. Oh my God, we've <laughs> never winterized and we've never sanitized, see, because we have water continuously running through. Okay. So this is just water. So we're gonna dump, we're gonna go ahead and dump this into the gray tank. And then, this is the filter which we stupidly should have taken out uh, and stored, but unfortunately now um, it's got bacteria in it. I did buy a replacement one, so we're going to put the replacement one in once the whole system is sanitized. All right, so here are the things that we need in order to sanitize. First of all, you need bleach, but not any bleach. You need the one that says that it eliminates 99% of bacteria. Um, there are two kinds of bleach, didn't know this. There's the one that says it's like spill resistant. Uh, Kaylin, have you ever seen those? Mm -hmm. 
So that is not the kind that you want because that does not disinfect in the same way. Who knew? So this one is the 99% bleach. That's the one that we're gonna use. We also need a one gallon. Now in this case, this is under one gallon. So we're gonna be doing the ratios a little bit differently, but typically it's a quarter cup of bleach for every one gallon of water. That solution is for 15 gallons. So since this is a 30 gallon tank, we're gonna fill this twice. And the last thing that we need is a funnel. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to pop open the gravity fill on our fresh water and we're going to fill, um, we're gonna dump in the Clorox bleach solution into it and then we're gonna fill the remainder of it with regular fresh water. Now a reminder that once it, the tank is full, this needs to kind of stay in place and slosh around for about 10 to 12 hours in order to completely sanitize the system. Last step is we're going to fill um, all of the lines by first turning on our water pump and then turning on all of our faucets. A reminder that this water does now contain a bleach solution, so try not to get it on anything uh, that could either stain or uh, get bleached. Caitlin, how was your first sanitizing experience? That, oh, that was surprisingly easy. Um, if we weren't filming, I think it only would have taken us about 15 to 20 minutes. So a pretty quick process, and now that we know how to do it, I feel a lot better like knowing that if and when we go back to Mexico, this won't be an issue at all because we really struggled with like what do we do about the water situation. We hope this video was super helpful for you and if you're interested in learning more about our floor plan of the Winnebago Navion 24D, click the link to the side or check out the rest of our videos. Thanks for watching.